how to go learn Spark for data engineering. I mean, it's exactly how we did it. I have a video about, uh, or, or check out the videos. Um, check out the videos with um, with Zeppelin. Or check out the Spark Week that we have done. Because there we are using Zeppelin. Basically, Zeppelin is like a notebook for Spark. And with this, you can uh, learn a lot of functionality of Spark and um, just start with a visual visual thing. You can also l learn fr a, 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 from, a, from a course, like Nick said, from Frank Kane. Um, I think this might be then costing you something. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, it's. I would I would try to get the basics down. How can you read data? How can you modify data? Uh, how can you use Spark SQL? Um, these these basically read, modify, and then write somewhere. Um, these are more or less the basics and you can try this all out in uh, with Zeppelin or you can write a Spark application but then you need to have a Spark Docker that you need to run and Spark Submit and then you don't have a UI and you don't see what you're coding and with with Zeppelin the cool thing is that you code and you see immediately when you did something wrong and you can visualize um, Visualize data frames very very simple and check if you have done everything right. And so I'm 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 a huge fan of notebooks. A lot of people in the in the Python world are talking about Jupyter notebooks. Um, I'm a hundred percent a fan of of the of the the Spark stuff. Um, that's just that's just awesome. That's just awesome. Let me just. <laughs>